happen. So many of you have Outlook, but you've now also got Gmail or Google Mail, whatever you want to call it, and you want to get your contacts out of Outlook and into Google Mail. And you can do that simply by exporting what you have in Outlook and then importing it into Gmail or Google Mail. So the first thing you need to do is have Outlook open, and I've got here Outlook 2007, but it works the same way whether you're using 2003, 2007, or 2010, very similar. So the first thing you need to do is be in your contacts here. Once you've got those selected, and you can see that I've just got three contacts here, it doesn't matter how many I've got, as long as I've got something to export. And what I need to do is export that into what's known as a comma-separated file. That is basically a text file that will hold all of this data that Gmail can easily read. And I do that by going into File, choosing Import and Export. The Import and Export wizard comes up. And I just need to choose Export to a File. That's the one I need to choose there. You'll see there's some import options down here. Don't want those, just that one there. So just hit Next. There it is, comma separated values DOS. That is absolutely fine, but you can see you can export it in other versions as well. So I could export it to Access, Excel, Personal Folder File, which is actually one that you use for Outlook. We're not going to worry about those. It's the comma separated values that I want. And I'm going to hit Next. I'm going to select the folder to export. That's this one here. It's Contacts. Absolutely fine. That's the one I want. You could export calendars and other things as well, but it's the contacts that I want. So I'm going to hit Next. Save exported file as Outlook to Gmail. Doesn't really matter what I call it. And then it's going to hit Browse. I'm just going to find somewhere to put it. This is my documents. You know what? I'm just going to leave it in there. I'm just going to click on OK. I'm going to hit Next. And it's ticked already. Export contacts from the folder contacts. And this map custom fields, I don't really need to worry about it too much. I'm just going to click on it, because basically what it tells me, I'm going to take the title field that I have and put it into the title field in my CSV file, comma separated file. And you'll see that they all have names going across. I don't really need to change that. I'm just going to click on OK. I'm going to hit Finish, and it's busy exporting. And it's done. There were only three there. If you've got a lot more, it could take longer. So now I'm just going to fire up my internet and I'm just going to sign in. I'm just going to click on that. And here we are. Let me just sign in here. I go to my Gmail. See that's loading up, and you'll see I've got contacts right here. I'm just going to click on those contacts, and it loads that page. Just click on OK to clear that, and you see if I click on more actions here, you'll see I've got imports. If I click on imports, you'll see this box comes up. Let me just move that up. Okay. So now I can see my screen better. I'm just going to click on Browse. I'm going to go to my Documents, which is where I had it. And you'll see along here, when the computer catches up, I've got my Outlook to Gmail CSV. Can you see that there? That's the one I want. I'm just going to click on Open. It's now listed there. It's going to import these, okay, and I can also add these to a particular group, my contacts, family, and friends, and so on. I'm not interested in putting it into another group. I simply want to import it. It's done. I click on OK, and there you can see they've all been imported. These are not real, these email addresses, in case you're wondering, but they're all imported. So that is how you get from Outlook to Gmail. You simply have to export it from Outlook and import it when you get to Gmail.